Hey guys, Bridget here, and in this video we're going to create this further screen of this series in which we're creating an entire iOS app from scratch based on a UI kit called NFTX, which I'm going to leave you a link in the description that you can find on UI8. Now without further ado, let's jump right into the video, but I want to remind you that if you want to create these screens from scratch, I have two past videos where we're building them from the ground up. So feel free to check it out, but now let's create this screen. All right, we're back in Figma and we left off over here with these two screens from the previous tutorials, which if you want, you can have a look at them where we're building these screens from scratch in the other YouTube videos. But now let's uh, go ahead and let's create uh, a duplicate of one of these screens. Uh, and you can follow along even if you haven't uh, uh, designed these two past screens. Uh, simply select a iPhone frame and you're going to be good to go. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, this uh, wallet screen. So we're going to go over here and uh, we're going to simply duplicate uh, the text uh, and we're going to write uh, wallet and uh, let's uh, center it. Let's bring it uh, to the top. Now we're also going to get rid of uh, these two elements uh, and uh, we are going to basically copy and uh, paste these uh, into place. So let's go over here. Command C, Command V, and we are good to go. Now, as you can see, we haven't applied any effect on uh, these elements. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make them light gray, just like that, and uh, we are in business. Now, at this point, let's uh, turn up uh, uh, the layout grids again, just like that, and uh, we are going uh, to create uh, some uh, elements below. So I'm going to write uh, over here, current uh, wallet value. I'm going to center this and I'm going to copy and paste uh, this style using option, command and V. And uh, here we go, let's center it. And uh, we're going to duplicate this element right here. We're going to write 0 0.1345 uh, Ethereum, just like that. And let's make them, uh, ma let's make this text bigger in size. And let's make it uh, regular. Let's center it up. All right. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to um, use uh, nuclear icons in order to find uh, a icon of uh, Ethereum. So I'm going to start writing uh, Ethereum. We cannot find anything, so let's write crypto. Let's see if we can find uh, any icon related to Ethereum. Couldn't find any. Not a problem. Let's uh, go on uh, nuclear on uh, actually on Google. And uh, I'm going to write Ethereum icon. Let's find uh, a, actually let's write free so that we don't find uh, any other website which doesn't have uh, like a free icon. And uh, this one right here is pretty interesting. Really like it. Uh, it's from uh, uh, this website called Icon Archive. So thanks for them. And we're going to copy and paste this uh, into place. All right, it's also quite big, so that's uh, definitely a positive. And uh, overall, I think this is uh, looking good. We're going to group it and uh, actually let's center it over here. Now let's add uh, a value below. So this is going to be 0 0.0295 parentheses, 1.34%, close parentheses. And uh, let's make this, uh, actually, let's make it both uh, of these uh, texts a little bit bigger. Let's bring this one up. And uh, this one is going to have the same color as this one here. So let's select it. And uh, let's uh, bring up uh, the arrow key. And we're going to 
go over here. Let's bring up the arrow. And uh, let's go ahead. And let's uh, do that. All right, perfect. So this is looking good so far. And uh, let's increase the size just a little bit. Let's group it together, center it. And uh, go ahead and let's create a few of these. <coughs> All right. Let's write receive. And we're going to actually make this uh, the same color of the Ethereum icon. We're going to make it 10%. So at this point, we're going to start adding some uh, different icons to these elements. Let's center this up. Let's make this one the same color. And let's increase uh, the color and uh, we're going to duplicate this a few times. Let's select all of these. Let's distribute uh, horizontal spacing. Let's write in uh, respectively. And let's make them all centered. Send. We're going to have swap. <clears throat> All right, let's select the, the outline. We're going to add this as an outline. Let's write in send. We're going to use this one here. Let's write buy. Let's go for this one and uh, receive. Uh, going to be this one right here. All right. Now I think we're in a good place. Let's uh, make these uh, of this color. We're going to increase the size uh, of these icons quite a bit. Let's make this 1.5. Let's center it up. Center this one as well. And this one too. All right. So this one's looking good so far. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to start adding some uh, text regarding the new activities. And uh, let's uh, do it over here, recent activity. And let's add uh, some related text, so 0, 0.00 Ethereum. And we're going to bring this guy right here. And uh, let's duplicate this circle. Let's make it smaller. Actually, quite a bit smaller as well. And we're going to make this text uh, dark. Let's make this one green. And we're going to basically add a line in between, which is going to have this uh, gray color right here. Let's add a arrow. Let's group it together. And we're going to bring this one right here. Oops. increase the size. We're going to decrease the stroke. 1.5. That works perfectly. And now we're going to 
adjust the color actually let's sample this one so it sits perfectly in uh, um, in the color combination and let's make this uh, text uh, a little bit bigger and regular all right now let's uh, duplicate this a few times and as you can see we didn't duplicate it perfectly but that's not an issue because we can always adjust it just like that and we are in a business all right so at this point what we're gonna do is we're going to make this uh, in a uh, almost like red color something like that would work well we're going to use the same for this guy right here all right so at this point i'm going to select uh, a image and uh, let's create uh, a square out of this we're actually going to round up uh, the corners just a little bit and uh, we're going to go under the plugins and uh, unsplash we're going to find uh, a plugin which is going to be uh, or actually uh, a photo which is going to be on uh, the same theme as uh, this one right here so that's uh, totally fine let's uh, go ahead and let's uh, select this one here and uh, we are pretty much in business we're going to have a view all section right here below and uh, i'm going to center it and actually let's avoid having the plus i don't think it's uh, it's stylish and that really serves uh, its its purpose uh, efficiently so we're just going to go over here change the color and we're pretty much uh, sorted and good to go all right so this was pretty much it for this video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the very next one